Hey, what's up everybody? This is Silent Boss here with a new Netrunner video. So today, guys, uh, I'm very excited to uh, announce that, as the title says, uh, we're going to be designing a new deck. Uh, last time, uh, we tried to design a harmonic uh, sports metal kind of deck that didn't actually work out. A lot of people would just, you know, ignore the Isis or bounce them back with Hermes. It was a disaster. Uh, trust me, I did a couple of runs, uh, made a lot of different variations of the deck and the win rate was just not worth it to even look at it. So I destroyed that deck completely. Uh, the video is still up, of course, but the I just gave up on the deck. It doesn't seem viable uh, with the current ar harmonic ices that we have. Uh, the other day, I think it was on the video from Tuesday, uh, I faced a SEA headquarters air earth station uh, from Wayland. I'm gonna uh, turn off my camera a little bit here. And I thought it was really cool. The, uh, the corporation of that time was using a card that I didn't uh, see that I didn't know about, that is called uh, Creation Grid, as you can see. Runs against like this server cannot be declared successful. That doesn't mean that the runner cannot access HQ, that just means that it, it nullifies cards that, that says uh, when you run a server, if successful, this or that. Uh, most common uh, uses for Steve, for example, uh, that you know, if if he successfully breaches HQ, you can choose two cards from your heap and get one back. Uh, it nullifies that. Uh, it nullifies uh, into the deep. It nullifies, you know, pretty much uh, diversion of funds. Every card that says when successful, if you have it on any server, uh, it nullifies the successful part of the, uh, the ability. So I made this deck, uh, I looked up some decks on Netrunner TV and well my initial idea was you know to build uh, HQ so hard that the runner simply uh, can't doesn't have the money or has to risk it uh, for the biscuit uh, in HQ. So the strategy here is to you know ice up mostly HQ. Um, and have pretty strong ices, things like, you know, Afshar for HQ, Winchester 2, uh, and then using Eminent to get things like Colossus, Archer, Bran, Balenciao, and we can actually use Tree Line to expand it and place Tree Advancement on Tree Lines or on Colossus. And of course, we can get back the Tree Line as, you know, this Advancement card, rather, with the Spin Doctor. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of money, so I have things like attitude adjustment, hedge fund, subliminal message, NGO, Rashida, and Regolith to get that money back. We have Christium Grid that it's uh, most certainly going to be exclusive to place on HQ because we don't want the uh, our ID to flip over. Remember that when this ID uh, flips over, it says that it costs six credits to go to the remote server. Uh, and the only way to flip that ability is if the runner makes a successful run on HQ. So we deny that with Christian Grid. So even if the runner gets to HQ, if I have Christian Grid, it will not turn over and it will still cost six credits to go back to, to server one. And in most cases, I've seen uh, some videos, some strategies, and some runners actually just ignore the... ID and just tries to run on server one paying the six credits and then we have things like NGO, Rashida, Spin Doctor to really make them regret that decision. Uh, we have SDS drone deployment to destroy some programs that I uh, I think are gonna be you know a pain in the ass. Things like uh, Amakua, pretty much any AI um, card and I also discovered Embolus uh, in another deck, uh, it was a Jinteki deck, but it, it says when your turn begins, you may pay one credit to place one power counter on this upgrade. Whenever the runner makes a successful run, remove one power counter from this upgrade. And hosted power counter, end the run. Use this ability only during a run on this server. Now, I thought about it and I said, well, it's cool, right? If you 
uh, if you put this on server uh, one, then you can, you know, make the runner uh, run twice, pretty much. But it says whenever the runner makes a successful run anywhere. So it's just not when they make a successful run on server one, it's any server. They can just go to archives and remove one power counter. So it's not as good. Uh, I haven't played with this deck yet. I haven't tried it. I just thought that it would be interesting to see this upgrade be. But if I don't like it, I think I'm just going to change it to, to my viruses. And that's the end of it. Uh, with Bran, I was thinking of maybe using uh, other thing like Drafter, maybe an MIC or two MICs, uh, or even Descent. But of course, if I take these two brands off, I'm gonna be lacking some influence, and I think that Bran is gonna be uh, pretty useful, especially for the install one piece of ice. Because remember, this deck, another ice in the wall that I named. Uh, it's about building these powerful ices uh, into HQ. So with that said, let's do our first uh, test run. That's what this video is going to be about. And let's just go straight to it. Possible YouTube video. And yeah, so this is the first video, guys. Like I said, I have some changes that I'm thinking of. Uh, also, attitude adjustment, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to explode that in any way. I was thinking of subsidiary, this card, uh, what is it called? Government subsidiary? Government subsidy. Uh, but having 10 credits is going to be very rare with this one. So I think I would rather have it to, you know, send two SDS drones deployments back or, uh, you know, Maybe using Eminent to reveal, uh, to install and rest one card from HQ, paying a total of five credits less, and then getting it back with attitude adjustment. Uh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, I mean, if I remove attitude adjustment, I will need uh, some influence back. Maybe with your digital life, I'm not really sure what I should be uh, changing it for. But oh well, let's uh, let's start the the game, and I will see you guys there. Hey guys, welcome back. We have Bitter C as the runner. Let's begin this match, and let's see where we're at. Okay, so I don't really like these ices. They're pretty expensive. This is more like it. I'm thinking maybe just, you know, icing um, HQ, maybe. And then using a uh, Spin Doctor on the new remote. I'm trying to save brand for the remote server. Let's just hope that we don't have an agenda here. Nice. Uh, that's gonna be... That's gonna be a very interesting choice. Oh, there's that. Uh, I actually have a tree line to advance tree line three times, which is gonna be uh, amazing. Uh, yeah, let's see. We have... Probably We're gonna flip this agenda now it costs six credits to you know To run back uh, On server two I mean to to go to server two unless the runner can get to HQ first Which is gonna be impossible unless they install something like a boomerang or Or something like that. Well, I'm gonna get a credit here it still costs six credits to to go back uh, here and yeah let's see maybe we can uh, get a use of attitude adjustment it will depend oh definitely definitely uh, right so let's turn this to 
Let's put these on HQ and let's do this. I'm thinking that next turn I'm gonna install Offworld Advance once and Triple Advance Tree Line. Expanding it. I think that's the most reasonable course of action. A lot of money will be, you know, handed next turn. And let's just see, let's advance once and let's expand to triple advance uh, three line. And remember, I can get it back with the use of um, Spin Doctor. I already used one, uh, but I needed that uh, hedge fund back. There was no, no way to get it back unless I got another Spin Doctor. Well, it could have been correct, actually. But let's see, so Hermes, that's fine, completely fine, I just gotta remember to, okay, huh, interesting, okay, so that's gonna definitely be a counter, to that and yeah so let's score it I think that they're gonna bounce back the ice on server 2 in that case I think I'm gonna probably ditch I don't know what I'm ditching okay they okay crimson maybe they figured it out that I am gonna use that I guess they want to flip the the identity ID now. Okay, so uh, let's see what do we do here. Let's um let's put this on HQ. Let's do this on server two, and let's attitude adjustment these two. Oh, I didn't want to actually reach for Colossus. That's the uh, the eyes that I wanted to install with Eminent. Well, I'm gonna get an Archer now. It's pretty much unstoppable. Let's see now. Oh, that's well, that's not bad. Let's put an archer on HQ. They will bounce back the ice, but that's okay. The brand didn't cost me anything. Oh, they're gonna swap ices. What would you swap? Is that better? <laughs> I'm just asking like, is that better actually? Well, a lot of money is gonna come by the good news is I can actually now install Bran on HQ. It's gonna be devastating too. So, okay. A lot of Isis are gonna get rest. Yeah, I'm thinking maybe this goes here. This goes here. I'm gonna cycle back uh, SDS, I'm guessing. Well, should I? The SDS? I think not. With Bran, I think it's very safe. With things like Cleaver, it's gonna cost like four credits to get, to get past it. And, well, Winchester is coming. Oof, I think I'm gonna discard, yeah, the SDS drone, because the money of overall office can really save me out here. And well, Colossus is gonna be a very good ice to have on, um, on R&D, especially with three advancement counters. If this is the deck that I think it is, uh, Echelon is gonna be the ice for sentries. And, ah, look at that. 
So that's gonna be very painful because I think it can only reach level five with um, that icebreaker with the uh, no, not icebreaker. What is it? The turbine? Yeah, the turbine. And three icebreakers is gonna be um, what did I say? It's gonna be. Well, they are pretty much forcing me to uh, get rid of this. Let's get back the tree line. Sure, why not? And let's see, I'm thinking maybe installing Winchester. Oh, no ice, no ice, come on. Oh, okay. An SDS would be devastating for him, in the sense that, what would you trash? Turbine? Definitely not conduit, am I right? Like, would you? It's hard, like, what do you trash here? Conduit? No? Turbine? I mean, you have simul chip. You get, you can get any of those back. But what would you trash? Oh, he trashed the. Uh... All right, that makes sense. Ah, uh, he can swap some ices, but uh, is it really? Is it really like viable at this point? Like, I can get this on HQ. This one on R&D, and like I said, this tree line is gonna be—it's gonna be devastating. So unfortunately, uh, well, Botulus got trashed, but remember, this deck—I think it has Cleaver, even if it has something like uh, what would what would be the worst ice here? Well. They're gonna try to get Echelon. But I don't know if, you know, it's gonna be cheap enough. I think Echelon is gonna be level 3, maybe? Oof, 4, well, it's not that bad. No, it's gonna fire. Something is gonna fire. I think the, uh... The... Oh. Wait, hold on one second. Nah, it was nothing. Okay, uh, let's see. So, okay, I see that. Trash one program. Okay, it's gonna be oof. two full tags, which is not amazing. And as you can see, it's very dangerous. It's dangerous to to run at this and... Well, he can swap some ices, but what would you swap? It's gonna be hard. And another SDS drone? Oof, that's gonna be no good, man. <laughs> so... Yeah. Uh, okay, he's gonna swap Bran, I'm guessing? Which is no, you know, not better. Oh, right! Conduit was still, you know, having some uses there. GG, so we fell victim to the Conduit. But as you can see, the deck has a lot of potential. This was just pretty much bad luck um, and me not icing up R&D, but you can kind of see the, the idea of this deck. Let's jump straight back into the next game and let's see if we can show the potential a little bit more. Hey guys, welcome back. We have Daniela as the runner. So uh, last match, uh, it was very, very laggy. This is a good hand. Um, we hated it. And the runner said, you know what? I just can't. I don't want to do this. 
and they just bailed pretty much okay so this is disaster this is uh yeah this is disaster <laughs> actually uh i just wow a lot of agendas here now uh mm, like oh, what do i mm, this is not the best i'm really glad that i have attitude adjustment just uh just grateful, man. Just grateful. Uh, what is the name of the channel? Oh, um, oh, sorry. Good love. Have fun. The name of the channel is Silent Boss. So, okay. I can use this to cycle back. Uh, Add it to adjustment. I really don't want more. And yeah. So there's that. Uh, what was that? Creative Commission? Okay. I w I'm, oh, I'm, I was really hoping for an ice back there. I need something to protect my my offworld office because with this money he can just go. I ignore the six credit cost and go straight for my server one card and well I don't want it to you know do that and yeah this seems like it's it's gonna fucking uh, happen so any way I can get nope all right so let's flip this identity I guess I can Wow. If this works, man. If this works. So I'm putting down SDS because I think that if the runner wants to steal that agenda, he should trash the program that they will install in a bit. I'm thinking to get past tree line, which is gonna be the uh, the barrier icebreaker, and that's my hope. My hope is running HQ. Uh, using that thing, the self-modifying code, um, to get the barrier breaker, uh, break tree line, access HQ, then run server three, and then trash the that one, trash uh, that program, that barrier breaker. It can be, uh, what would it be? Oh, it's gonna. Oh, fermenter. Oh, because another one is coming down, I guess. Oh, that's bad. Okay, so I need Valen Chao. <laughs> Desperately. Uh, or Bran, maybe? Bran can save me. Bran can actually totally save me. For now. I need a Bran. So, attitude adjustment will fit nicely. Uh, will do nicely. Uh... Let draw. Okay. Yeah, I think it was just a little bit. Oh, that's horrible. Okay. Well, this is not as bad now that I think of it. And. Yeah, so I want him to use most of um, propellers token, well, power counters. And I mean, he's gonna have to get the the sentry breaker, which is gonna be fine. And next turn, I do think uh, that I'm gonna advance advance server three and hedge fund. Let's 
let's see. So actually, from what I've been gathering from my deck, attitude adjustment is a really game changer. It's really cool. Uh, I don't think I want it gone. Most definitely. I think that I, ju I just need to to do them a virus one. So this is level 5 right now. If I get another 3 line and expend it, it's gonna be 8. And if I advance it one more time, it's gonna be 9. And now Propeller is gonna be completely unable to access it. That's okay. That's, you know, that's fine. Uh, that's a, uh, okay. So he's gonna check that I actually have it. <laughs> I have the SDS drone deployment. All right, and I'm hoping for a breaker and a barrier. I don't even know what I want now. Ice. Oh, this is rough, man. This is rough. Okay, now that he knows that, he can use, uh, he can plan accordingly and trash fermenter. And skip, I mean, yeah, I just pay the six credits. Wow, trashing propeller. That's, uh, no, that's, that seems fine. Well, I'm kind of... On the toilet right now. Well, this this sucks. I cannot risk uh, him looking at HQ now. But I really should be good. Even if propeller gets installed, I can. I mean, I'm gonna rest Balin Chow too, and the breaker is, go is probably gonna be. Uh, this one, uh, what's what's it called? Uh, e Echelon. So probably it's gonna be back. Uh, this has been a very bad set of draws, man. I've draw. I've drawn like. See seven agendas, I think, and two more were on were on the top of R and D since the runner did manage to to get them back. So let's add subliminal messaging back uh, to get a little bit more money. I will draw once actually. Hoping for, well, at least I saved the match. Let's advance three line. I'm gonna pretend that I got this from subliminal messaging. I mean, I got I got a free credit, might as well, might as well use it. And this SDS drone is gonna be pretty great, especially for that uh, fermenter. And yeah, well then Chow is gonna shoot. And it's gonna need to be fully broken. But I think still... Well... Hmm, it's not clear yet. But I might be golden here. Obviously, it's not very cool to uh, get Valen Chow here. Uh, since, you know, it will take one bad publicity. And things like that. Usually when I'm facing uh, things like, oh, let's say, Sebastiao or any deck that is tag based, I can get an advantage of Valenciao and actually rest it, uh, removing one tag. It's just five credits. But usually uh, Eminent Domain is the way to install it, especially since I have an Archer already installed. I can, you know, uh, score the Eminent, get the Valenciao re up and ready. And then when I get to rest, Archer just expand the Eminent. 
so okay Something is getting installed probably another propeller But I mean if this is an agenda, this is just bad luck. I just got one from R&D Which is crazy because I would have get That's just crazy. So what's this? This is unity Which is actually the base choice since I have Balin Chao on server 4 uh, but I'm not sure I'm not sure what I should do here probably trash fermenter it's a lot of money uh, coming over so yeah we can probably use ran later for Uh, what should I get here? Probably... Well, I'm gonna get Archer back with uh, Spin Doctor, hopefully. But I need to... Uh, I need to... I need to ice up R&D. No ices, no good ices have been coming. I had to, you know, ice up server 4 or, or else what am I gonna do, you know? I'm just waiting for something like Bran or even another Valenciao, anything that would give me anything, any ice, pretty much. Got saved by the bell. And if it didn't got trash, I'm hopeful that it's gonna be an ice. Uh, let's see here, it's gonna be on uh, it's gonna be ice oh come on well i can actually yeah do this i guess this one on r and d and this one on hq I'm, i guess So this on HQ, the Christian Grid is going to be very cool to prevent Steve from firing. So I guess that Christian is kind of situational, but not really. A lot of cards use uh, when successful uh, things, uh, something happens, that trigger is very common. So I think that Christian Grid is here to stay in, in my deck. Uh, attitude adjustment too. I just... I haven't really found any use for Embolus. And my virus my virus would be great. Bobo Seti would be cool too. Or maybe even mm, not sure. Not sure. Actually. Well, this is gonna, uh, let's see. This turn I'm gonna install Afshar on HQ, then use um, this hedge fund. But the money is just flowing. The money is just flowing. Probably it's best to install Afshar and just getting regolith mining uh, things. Because hedge fund can wait. Okay, so Simul Ship can be used to get Echelon back if he... Oh, well, Turbine. Oh, well, a lot of oh, a lot of choices here. And the runner is running out of cards. So, okay, he's going for the Crisium grid. Which, uh, it's not the best. It costs, it's, it costs five credits, which is kind of a lot. And yeah, he probably knew what it was. And that's fine. So this goes on HQ. I will actually uh, seven, two, four. It's gonna cost four credits. Well, it's not the best, but yeah, let's just do it. Of 
course, Colossus, not as good as Archer because it only has two subroutines, so any pretty much, you know, revolver uh, gets a lot of uses before it runs out. And it doesn't end the run. So we have to be careful with that. I just wanna, you know, be as intensive as I can. Uh, let's rest half Shar. This is gonna be uh, three credits. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so the two credits will be lost from the pocket because it says loses credits. And let's see. Actually, actually, Cleaver will get completely obliterated by my tree line, which is level six. And this will actually take some bullets off of revolver. Uh, first of all, it's two credits to, you know, match strength. Then it's uh, three bullets. And this one is gonna be three line. Uh, which is gonna be two uh, for six. It's three times six credits, six, seven credits. Nope. Uh, it's, no. Uh, turbine is coming over. So it's gonna be... What? It's gonna be... Uh, how much was it? Three credits. Uh, well, yeah. He's gonna see... Regolith. Well, he's gonna get something back. I totally forgot about that. So, let's see. Oh, I said I said he were that. Uh, right? I just spoke Spanish out of nowhere. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm misgendering. Um, it's not my intention. Okay, so it gets trashed. Okay. Wait, what, what is simul chip being used for? Ah, right. So... Okay, at least I got this. So actually, the dangerous thing here is that revolver will not hold. I'm guessing he's probably thinking of ignoring HQ now and just going for Okay, let's see if Embolus is useful in any way. If I was uh, day, I would go uh, probably r and I mean, HQ is just expensive as hell. Asher takes three credits. Uh, Winchester takes two credits still. And, well, they don't care. They don't care. It's just like that. I'm, I'm waiting for a brand for server 4 since a while uh, and let's see so let's spend one credit to do this let's uh, put down this and I mean at this point I'm just really desperate uh, of course another pinhole will destroy me and I do believe, well, it's two pink holes already got used. Maybe no other pink hole. But of course, if I read this card right, if he goes to archives, it just eliminates the <laughs> the uh, the power counter. So that's an ability. That's a strategy. Like free, it's completely free. I have nothing on archives. Should I have something? Oh, I'm guessing no. I'm guessing no. Uh, maybe some Isis changes would be right. I mean, do I really need Colossus? 
I should probably have just another archer. But right, archer is... Mm, I need something that stops the runner. He thinks that's a... Uh, a tree line. I, I'm guessing that's why he... Uh, I'm so sorry. That they ha haven't run R&D yet. But I don't know. I mean, what would I do? Okay. So they are doing the math to know, you know, if they can run here and still make it. Uh, fermenter is going to get popped eventually. It's going to land like 10, 12 credits. Which, of course, I can take uh, three from here, two, two from here. That's uh, five. And then two, four, five. That's ten credits to get to HQ. And you have to do it twice because Envolus is there. So Envolus is actually doing something here. Again, my virus would take care of Fermenter. Uh, I don't know. It's, I, I just think that Embolus is really easy to get rid of. Maybe this runner doesn't know it, but the card just says, Hey, if you run any freaking uh, server, you get the token off. And I think that's exactly what is going to happen. This might be GG. But it's not entirely certain yet. Oof. That's... Oh, that's not the best. Uh, what? Oh. Uh... No, it can only be done. Oh, it can be done anywhere. Well, well, it happened already. I mean, it's my fault. I totally forgot. No, I totally forgot. I totally forgot. I thought this was only for the run, but Embolus is for any run I mean on any server so it's not that bad it's not as bad as I thought I totally read that wrong nah no 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 don't worry this is you know this is what would have happened on a tournament so it's totally fine I'm, I mean it's just a friendly game it's just I'm just testing this uh, but the, then Embolus really has some potential Uh, don't worry. This is a friendly match. Especially since I'm just testing this deck uh, my first time. And knowing Embolus might have been correct, as they say, because Revolver gets trash completely. <laughs> Don't shout at me a uh, chat. This is not live, but I Mean don't harass this girl. Do I really have to say it? Don't harass. Uh, well, I don't know if you're a girl or a boy. I'm so sorry. I just keep uh, Assuming things I'm horrible. I know uh, But yeah, I mean, please don't harass them. It's my it's my fault. I New the card, I mean I have it in my deck, it's my responsibility to know what it does and when it, it applies. Um, but yeah, no worries. So Revolver is gonna get... Oh, okay, so Echelon is, is, is back. It's gonna be a bit expensive to run R&D and... Well, tree line is getting really expensive too. And something is getting back. I'm really hoping for a regolith. 
simul chip. What for? Simul chip. Huh. What did they access two cards? Is that normal? Archives. Oh, this is um deep dive. GG, my man. Uh, my uh, day. I'm so sorry. Uh, it's not. I'm not intentionally doing it. I don't find it funny. Uh, I'm really sorry if I misgender. I am Mexican, so I really am getting used to the pronouns. And uh, yeah, that felt stolen. No, no, don't. No, no, no. Don't start with that. Don't give me that. Uh, don't worry. I mean, if I would have uh, undo the action after you stole that, I would have been uh, like, well, I feel bad now. Uh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. This match actually was very educational in the sense that I think that Embolus needs to stay. So my virus, uh, it's really hard, but like even... Hmm. I don't know, I'm, I think I'm gonna make a, a mirror deck with my virus and see how we do with that. Because Embolu seems very strong. And damn, thank you, thank you so much for checking out the channel, I hope uh, that you like it. Only subscribe if you like it, I really don't, I mean this is a hobby for me, I'm doing it uh, because I enjoy talking uh, alone in my room by myself uh, while my wife is gone. and. Well, I also enjoy uh, this game a lot. I, like I said on my first video, I uh, knew about this game three months ago, I think. Uh, I don't even remember. I think I was looking for Magic the Gathering. A friend of mine told me like, hey, you should check out Magic the Gathering. It's this, it's this game and blah, 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 blah. I checked out MTG Arena. Uh, I knew more or less uh, what, what it was about. And the amount of packs and money that you know the companies pre and the community, even the community is telling me like you know, oh you want to be good, be prepared to you know spend eight hundred dollars, nine hundred dollars on cards that are uh, no longer printed, and you know that maybe if you go to play with a friend, they might say, hey we don't allow this card to be on the game because it's unfair, so get it back and. It was a total disaster uh, in that sense for me. It totally ruined my motivation to learn Magic the Gathering uh, deeply enough. And MTG Arena was no different. I had no cards. Turns out you need to like buy packs, like digital packs for digital cards. What the hell is that? I It's not my style. Uh, then I looked for uh, card games that didn't have this, you know, uh, lottery pretty much mechanics uh, I mean I do a little bit of gambling but I'm not addicted to it so I thought that was that I mean I know it's collectionism and that kind of culture but for me it's completely I mean it's it's pretty dumb for my in my opinion of course uh, not the people that do it of course and that you know spend money on it it's their money if they want to do it and they're uh, fine with it I think it's okay. Even Post Malone plays it, so it's really it's a, re a really cool game. It's just the mechanics of getting cards is really what kills it for me. And then I discovered Netrunner, and yeah, it was a very pleasant surprise, you know. Like, hey, you can just go print your cards and get going. That was very mind blowing. Uh, and and then you know, knowing like, well, we uh, the first thing that I heard about Netrunner is you know it's no longer being done. Like, good luck, right? That's what I thought. And then uh, the subreddit told me, no, 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 it's still going, but it's by the fans, for the fans. And all the tournaments and everything is by fans. And I thought that was a community that I wanted to take part in. So I discovered Jinteki, and knowing that all cards are available, you can just go experiment free, no ads, no nothing. This is just heaven for me. And you know, this community is so so I'm so grateful to find this game and the community that it builds around it. It's very unique. It's something that I haven't seen in even in triple triple A games. I haven't seen this kind of community, 
and it's pretty great. It's pretty awesome. Thank you, Daniela, for the game. Uh, your kind words and uh, good sportsmanship uh, really felt good in my heart. Uh, thank you for the game. It was very interesting. It teached me a lot about, well, about what Embolus does, of course, but also what my deck uh, might need in the future. I think that getting that, um, what what's the name, that Fermenter early on that had like eight or seven virus counters, I think, was very, very big. Uh, but maybe my virus could have done that way easier and I would have trashed another program with SDS. I mean, the possibilities are endless still, but I think that this deck, even for the first, uh, you know, test, uh, it's pretty good. So uh, there will be another video uh, keeping uh, this deck updated, changing some cards. And I will see you guys on the next video that it's going to be on Sunday, uh, if I'm not mistaken. And I will see you guys there. Goodbye.